Okay guys, I got two Glock 19s here. One is a Gen 4 on top, and the one on the bottom is a Gen 3 uh, Austria proof marked Glock 19. I wanted to talk to you guys for a little bit about how a little difference in the change of a grip can change the whole dynamics of how a handgun feels in your hand. And it doesn't even have to be that extreme to eye, to your eyeball, to completely change the way that that gun handles and the way that it feels in your hands. And I'm going to show you guys what I mean here in a minute. Now this is the Gen 4 right here. And on this guy, as you can see here, I have the large back strap. I think you should be able to see that. Yeah, I have the large back strap on there. Okay, so this is the biggest one, the biggest back strap that comes with the uh, with the Gen 4s. And this is just a standard Gen 3, and this is the Austria proof marked version um, of Gen 3. Now I'm gonna I'm going to break these guns down to the frames, and I'm going to show you how there's really not a whole big difference, a whole lot of difference between these two grips, even with the large back straps, but I'm going to show you how that makes a difference. Even that slight of a change can make a difference. Okay, first of all, I'll hold the guns like this and try to make them as even as I can. I'm trying not to get in the way so that the camera can see it like I can. Okay, so there you can see the difference that way. And as you can tell, it's not huge. The difference isn't really huge. It's not some massive... Uh, big difference there, and I'll try to line this Gen 3 frame as best I can. Now the finger grooves in the Gen 3 is more pronounced than on the Gen 4. In other words, it sticks out. They stick out a little bit further than what they do on the uh, Gen 4. But it looks like at the bottom that there's not that much of a difference. It's hard for me to line these up, guys, because it's just not the guns just don't have a flat spot there to sit on but there I'm lining them up and you can see that there's not a real um, big pronounced difference in in the two of these guns here let me try it like this you can see the difference isn't really that big and this is going to the largest back strap that Glock comes with but let me show it to you like this now. If you, if I grip this gun like I normally would, like that, see, notice where my fingers and thumb is at. This is a Gen 4. Notice the position of my fingers and thumb. Now, go to the Gen 3 and notice how my thumb is completely covering the nail of my middle finger and my third finger, how far in it's on the grip. See where my thumb's at? Now let's go back to the Gen 4. And I'm squeezing these both the same. My thumb is to the middle of the nail, and my third finger is just at the front quarter of that grip. Once again, Gen 3. I can completely cover the fingernail on my middle finger, and I'm touching back here where the cuticle of the nail is. And you can see where my third finger's at on the Gen 3. Now the Gen 4. You can still see fingernail on about halfway point and where my third finger is at. Now, for the majority of people out there, uh, majority of people with average, normal, I guess you'd call normal, whatever that is, but average sized hands and most people, the Gen 3 is going to be fine for most people. In fact, I ran the Gen 3 for years in Glocks and didn't have a problem. But what I come to find is, is that with the Gen 4s, with that large back strap, it works so much better for me. And the reason for that is, is when I grip it, and I got that extra space, it gives me that much more room to go ahead and lock my palm in there and get my shooting grip down, and still have a secure grip. A lot of times on the Gen 3, 
I would come in here and I don't have enough room. See, because where my fingers are, I come in and I'm just grabbing fingers there. I'm not really on the frame of the gun. Now, for most people, though, uh, with average size hands, you know, mine are like double XL, but with average size hands, this is going to be fine for most people, the Gen 3. But with this, this just gives me a little bit more room to get that palm all the way in there, and that palm is all the way in there up to here. I'm contacting the frame of the gun with a secure lock. This is the most secure grip I've probably ever had on a Glock. This is the Gen 4 with the large back strap. Up here on this Gen 3, my middle finger keeps the upper part of my palm from contacting the frame up here. It keeps it lifted. See right there? It keeps it lifted. I can't tip it in enough to touch the frame of the gun. With this, it gives me just enough room to fully contact the upper part of that frame all along the side right there and have my perfect grip for me. So, if you have, you know, really like double XL, maybe even XL size hands, the Gen 4 Glock with the large back strap is going to change the, dy the dynamics for you and how you shoot uh, these guns. I'm telling you, it's going to change it. It's so much easier for me to shoot with it like this as well. Shooting the, uh, the Gen 4, I find it much easier to stay on target and much more comfortable to me. I still like the Gen 3's. I have nothing against them. In fact, for the majority of people out there, the Gen 3 is going to be what they need. They're not going to, even people that buy Gen 4's, a lot of them, they don't use this large back strap. So, you know, if you have big, big mitts, um, it might be something you want to look into. But those are just my thoughts and, you know, why I like that large back strap on the Glock and Gen 4 and how it's changed the dynamics of the gun for me. Alright guys, till next time, this is H4T.